Duck up, get your top hit. Clean and cool, we pull out with the mop sticks. I can let my demons loose, we ride and don't get caught sick. Really, I believed in you, it turned out that you not shit. Hello. Hi. Stop you because the car is coming back with an abandoned vehicle. Abandoned really? vehicle? Yes. Really? Yes. Whose oh. car is it? It's my dad's car, but... Okay. Did he have it towed in, like, Miami? It something? was towed in Miami. Okay. I, it, it was, I had it towed in Miami and we had to get it back. Okay, uh, so you were driving it in Miami? Yes. Okay. And he knows he had to get the whole thing notarized. Yeah. Um, I gotta get go with Miami because okay. they're the ones that entered into the system. Okay. So when a car gets towed and the owner's not present, they usually enter it as an abandoned vehicle. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So it's going in the system, so... Cops that run up your top runs your tag. Who owns that pick that up? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Yeah, right? Like, like how did I get it out the... The lot. No, really. <coughs> I think I stole it out the lot? <laughs> the fuck? Mm. Mm. Hey, I'll call my dad right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna have them confirm it and get that taken out of the system, and I'll bring it back. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. At least their last names will probably match on the registration, so... And I can just tell that this is the thing with fucking cops, bro. Nah, he nice they try to be nice. They try to be all nice and friendly to keep your guard down. Bitch, you the motherfucking enemy. No, you the bro. motherfucking enemy. Then yeah. I, yeah, you the op, bro. Like I like literally, literally, you're the op. Like I, you try to be my friend so you can put my guard down so I can start speaking too much, start getting too comfortable, start talking too much. Exactly what she starts and doing. How old is she? She's she probably old. like twenty. I'm saying just driving her dad's car like I get where the cops are coming from because they're just doing their job you know like they see an abandoned car but like what now like we'll see I don't, let's start you know. that let's get into it let's start that let's see what's going on so what happened so where was this car? <laughs> even she looks hot Miami I went down to get a tattoo and uh -huh. I went to get a fire hydrant and it was oh oh you don't want to mess with the boys. Yeah, and we five minutes and we there, so we're just gonna sit here and wait a little bit. Okay. What's that? I'm so sorry, my car's a little messy. Well, it's not messy compared to what kind of cars I see on a daily basis. Oh, you're fine. You're good. Have you been pulled over before? I have. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I just don't want you to be like nervous. Oh, girl, girl, I'm girl, fucking girl. shaking. <laughs> I have people die. Oh, I don't know. Yes, because y'all are scary. I'm scared. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm ask you a question, I. Want to start the car? Sit in the car. Is that what she said? Step out. Oh. She's mine if you step out the you, car. You know Can I ask why you guys are such a new car? She asked. Okay. Right. She asked. Why didn't she just say no? I don't consent to searches and seizures. Wait, she, the girl asked, Why are you searching my car? Yeah, she was like, Oh, she asked. I okay. She didn't ask me. It's my car. The fuck? <laughs> like, I, that, that's what it sounds like. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. Do you mean, like, your superior ass? And you're just like, what does that mean to me? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, what the what? fuck? So I could have said no? Yeah. <laughs> you, you didn't ask me, and I'm the owner. Uh, and people be acting like it's easy to say no to these motherfuckers, because, like, <laughs> like, I don't want no problems. Ooh. Yeah. If I say, yeah, Ashley. No, I'm good. I'm good. I don't know where I should go. Um, I do. Is that I know. I know. Should not make. Good. Like flavor. Or? Yeah, it's just. Good. 
Oh, thank you. My dad gave it to me. Okay. Yeah, later. Get off work or working out? Or? No, I'm. I just got a haircut. Actually, I work at four. So. Oh. And I wish it would cool off. Yeah. Oh my god. It's when I get into my car. It's in my driveway. The sun just beats right down in it. Sun visor. I do have one in the back seat. I just always forget when I'm coming to work to put it up. Do you have a medical marijuana card? I do not. No? Do you ever smoke weed? I have. How much did Vincent just smoke weed? Um, I smoked How much did Vincent just smoke weed? Um, I smoked weed yesterday. Did you? Yes. You don't use it in your vape, do you? No, I don't. I'm smoking it out. <laughs> I don't think I've done yet. Now you know not to park in front of a fire hydrant. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, my dad was fucking. It's just an eyelash brush. You got a lot of these. Yeah, I get my eyelashes done and <laughs> she gives me some. You got a lot of these. Yeah, I get my eyelashes done and <laughs> she gives me some every time I go. Yeah, they're just for my eyelashes. Yeah, I bet your car gets really covered. Oh my god, I can't even touch my steering wheel. Huh? She read anything or no? No. Mm. You done fucked she up. Said? Has she even read anything or no? You know what that means, right? Yeah, her rights. Look at the pause. Sure, you know what time it is. I did have a week. Oh. The second she heard that, she got scared and was like, shit, let me just admit everything right now. I do have a weed pen. Like, bro, come on, bro. But I can tell, like, the type of girl she is, I can tell she's not used to having cops, dealing with cops and answering questions and being a part of paperwork. So, like, I kind of get it. You're scared. Like, how anyone would be. But, you know, people like us, like, we're more used to dealing with situations like this. But people like... You know, bro, one time I had, bro, one time I thought I was about to get caught up. That shit was honestly really scary. Especially because my friend fucking made it worse trying to help us. And I was like, Ooh. girl, we're about to get out of here. Shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, speaking too much is going to just get you, like, fucking hindered. Like, just learn how to shut the fuck up and just answer questions when asked. Or, if, I mean, you could use it right now, but it's up to you. That might ring you. Hold on. Alright, if we're gonna talk about anything like a week 10, I gotta read you your rights, okay? Or you mean you're under arrest? It doesn't mean you're under arrest, it just means I have to read your rights if we're gonna talk about it, okay? Alright, you have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions, okay? Any statement you make must be freely and voluntarily given, okay? You have the right to the presence and representation of a lawyer of your choice before you make these statements during the question, okay? If you cannot afford a lawyer, you are entitled to the presence and representation of a court appointed lawyer before you make these statements during any question, okay? If any time during the interview, do not wish to answer the questions you are pro wait why does she have the card she's new to this she's no you, you, you never notice that they always have the card a lot of times yeah they take out the card well, like, I'm supposed to like memorize it well they don't, not, I don't think they have to I'm not a cop so I wouldn't know but I've been watching a lot of these um police videos cam videos lately and a lot of them take out cards mm -hmm. some some of them will be like little envelopes little foldable cards and then some of them would be like just a card like this it looks like a scripture from a bible I want to remain silent, you understand? I can make no threats or promises to induce you to make a statement to look your own free will, do you understand? Any statement can and will be used against you in a court of law. Did you understand those rights? That's not a weed pen, right? No, it's not. That's just your vape it, pen? It is. Why do you carry it right there? Um, I usually don't, but I had it in my lap when I was driving and I didn't have anywhere to yeah, put it. Yeah, she said she has a marijuana pen in there. I had fake IDs. And you have fake IDs? They are mine. They're in my name. They're what? They're in my name. Never mind. I... Oh, you had these made up. They were ordered. So you had them made up? Um, not me personally, but... You mean not you personally? I, my friend made them. Not me personally, but... You mean not you made up? Um, not me personally, but... You mean not you personally? I, my friend made them. <laughs> No, I know, yeah. Okay, it, but I was just saying I didn't physically make it. Yeah, but you went there and asked me. 
get three of them? No, there's just only there's only five. Do you have a testing? Uh, okay. So, what was the deal with those? Um, they were in my purse. No, I I I get the obvious, but what's the uh, I guess what's the like what are they for? Um, I don't know. I have them. My friends got them while in college, and they want me to come and visit them in college. How old are you? I'm 20. I'm 21. Six months. Five months. The marijuana card or anything like that? Where did you get it from? Um, one of my friends. Your friend ordered, like, bought it, your friend bought it for you? Uh, yes, I don't know. Sounds like, like your friends do a lot for you. They, that they probably didn't keep it. Yeah. I know it's hot. It's a felony to be in possession of fraudulent and diverse substances and the, and the marijuana bait gun. Okay? So unfortunately, I do have to place you under arrest. <laughs> <Damn. coughs> this shit is so max. Acting all nice and shit. It's so max though. Like they didn't have to do all that. Like you're gonna arrest, arrest? Come on, bro. Like this Especially is. The search was really unnecessary. That was unnecessary. That this they, sh that was so unnecessary. The search was unwarranted. It didn't. Like it, for me, it was uncalled for. Just for the severity of the situation. Like okay, young girl in her twenties. She has some fake IDs. She has a she has a fucking e an e pen, an e cigarette pen, and then she has a weed pen. All right, smack on the wrist. Don't do it again. Have a good life. Keep it pushing. It's not that deep and not that serious for you to put this girl that clearly hasn't been in any kind of like situation like this and create some kind of record for you to start as far as like for other people, other cops are just having a bad day, waking up on the wrong side of bed and have them want to, when they pull you over, they want to max out on you and create this lists of just charges you just have what a lot of people don't like to recognize is that a lot of times cops will like they might let you off with a warning give like a warning ticket for something but that warning ticket is in the system so like if another cop pulls you over for something and they see that <coughs> you've been warned for something but that something is still there then they're going to ticket you for it or they're going to cite you for it or they're going to charge you for it so for me it's more so like when you're really doing me a favor you're giving me like a verbal warning but anything that's documented is in the system. And I honestly think when it comes to this, it's like you putting some shit like that in the system, like drug possession, when really it's just weed. But the fact that something said drug possession when looking up, doing a background check on you, that that sounds crazy. That sounds like you yeah, like methamphetamine on you. And if she wants to lock down a good job, you know, that, that could provide for her and her family, you're gonna, you know, taint her chances of getting that job that she always wanted for having a weed pin on her? Like, come on, bro. Like, like, what the fuck? She's in the notes, right? Yes. Number six. The female in the notes. Especially because I think that shit's really dumb. Because, like, I just think weed laws are so stupid. Because, like, it's literally legal in some states. Mm -hmm. Decriminalized in most of them. But obviously she's just in a really unlucky area exactly. where she is still yeah. a felony. Mm. But like, it would just be a slap on the wrist or like a fine at worst. But like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, th I think of I think a fine, maybe like a hundred dollar ticket or some shit like that. You can probably give her something like that or just like, that. that's a slap on the wrist. Give her a fine for having, um, don't, I wouldn't say drug possession, but I'll say something like, um... I mean, marijuana possession it's not the same as these other yeah if you if you can list his marriage like marijuana possession then cool i'm not sure how that cop shit works but if you can do that then that's cool but it's like something like that would be like a slap of the wrist but for you to try to like 
like create a whole like like record for her bro or something so small it's like bro come on bro and then again you want to give her tickets for the fake ids or you want to charge her for the fake ids and how it's a felony to have that it's like bro like it's not sit here and act like you weren't you know fucking 20 trying to get into getting into clubs trying to drink some alcohol and inside the clubs like or you want to get inside of certain clubs like we all been there bro like a, like it's not like she's like <laughs> running heist and, and doing like scamming cards for with fake IDs. And she's not 17. She's 20. She's and 20. Like 21. And like yeah, five, the, what the fuck? She's Come on, bro. Like, let her live. That's gonna, she's going to be 10 15 for single 18. Uh, we're going to come back into the car. You still have your gloves on? I know she's not wearing my jeans or anything. Yeah, and then uh, her neck. Yeah, and her earrings. Yep. Knock off your shoe for me. Yeah, and her earrings. Yep. Knock off your shoe for me. It's like you almost knew that I was looking in that purse. Right? It's okay, you can be honest. No. Yes. It's not my first day. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Here. But I want this to be a lesson for you, okay? Okay. So, and that should be even more so of a lesson. Protect and serve my ass. You know, it's not, it's not our first day on the road, all right? There's so many grown ass, crusty, musty, dusty, rusty ass niggas right now that have to eat and consume fucking rhino and drink honey packs every day to keep a hard dick that are so fucking hard because they can't get no pussy and they try to pray over and after little fucking girls, dog, and little boys. Where are you going? Huh? <laughs> I was like, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> There's niggas out there, hoodlums out there, fucking street monkeys out there, Whoa. and fucking goddamn a bunch of other racist shit for all the other races out there that are fucking doing fuck shit, robbing and stealing from civilians like myself. There's oh, yeah. grimy ass niggas out there that don't know how to take no for an answer, or they don't know how to, you know, lead their girl in a way that's a masculine way so they take the sensitive way out and beat on their girl vice versa a lot of girls out there that date bitch ass niggas and know that they can hit on and they hit on them knowing that the nigga ain't gonna do shit back there's parents ch touching their kids uncles touching their their nieces and nephews bro there's so many crazy like there's real issues out there real problems people committing real crime it's like, bro, like, what the, like, yo, like, if I'm sitting over here getting bleeding out right now because the nigga just couldn't just deal with the fact that the, I could be walking with you. I could be walking with a girl. Boom, walking with my chick. Cool. And then the nigga tries to say something to my girl. My girl looks at him, kisses me. I pat her in the butt. We keep walking. This nigga's ego is shattered. He with his boys. He thought he was going to look cool trying to pull my girl. He couldn't. Ego is shattered. His boys laughing at him. People around that peeped it laughing at him, too. He sees me outside, now he wants to shoot me. Cause, what, he tried to steal my girl and, she, and he couldn't do it? So he killed me. So it's like, you got people that, that stuff like that happens. You have issues and problems that are a lot more serious for you to take, but you're sitting here wasting your fucking time. That this shit could be happening to me. I could be getting gunned down right now over a bench, a bitch ass nigga that just couldn't take a L. Not only that, literally, I was in He doing this shit. Hour and a half for these two For these two dogs. dogs. And one of them really could have hurt somebody, like, like passing around rabies and shit. That. When that lady was like, they could have, like, a kid could have came up to the big dog. Yes. And, like, got hurt for real. Yes. Yeah. So. They said they're taking their damn time. It's like, what the fuck, bro? It's like, I don't know, man. I know. I know, but yes, I know. Has that annoying teacher voice. She will charge the possession of counterfeit IDs and possession of controlled sus of substance. Okay. Mm. Mm. The charge will draw that she completed Center for Isaac Community Service with non profit of her choice. See? Th that's the slap on her wrist. Community service. You choose whatever you want to do, whatever you want to, you know, go at. For the animals, for the kids, for the elderly, it doesn't matter. For the homeless, whatever you want to do. Honestly, sorry. No, you're good. Right. Just do that and, and stop at a risk. Cool. Have a good life. But, as much as those 
female cops were kind of annoying with it like sunning her i feel like they probably did advocate for a like i imagine they might have been all right i know what you're about to say like you know what i'm saying because she did have a it was like a slap on the wrist thing but that but this is the thing though it's like what you're i think what you're saying is that like it's good that they add that they could have like chart they could have did this but then advocated for the judge to not go she crazy did with say, it like i mean as as is that what you're saying as condescending as it sounds they were like i want this to be a learning lesson for you like she was being honest that's not how you do it though no yeah she it was definitely like the tactics are kind of shysty because of who she is like those cops know that they're fucking slick. they're building they're building a record on a girl that okay like no, this yeah. isn't a criminal like right someone that they could they try and be sneaky beat the system hey don't do that Honestly, and they didn't read her right, so I take that back. They did. It's, well, until, like, after yeah. searching her car and being like, oh, why are you searching my car? Oh, she and asked. I'm, like, on top, it's not a very concrete I, I heard. I heard that she was dropped of all charges, and she even had to go to community service. So I don't know if that, that shit's even true. But the thing is, is that, because a lot of people had a lot of issues with this. They were saying that the cops were maxing her. They were searching her car and treating her like a criminal when it's like, bro, what the fuck? Like, it's not that deep. I'm saying I take it back, but I do hope... Mm -hmm. That if they really did want it to be a learning lesson, that they would advocate for not the heaviest sentence, but really, who knows? But then why have been put in yeah. that situation? All you had to do was just say, hey, no, like, yeah. make, just give her a ticket for, like, I don't know, like, fucking... Never really be, I'm going to confiscate this and never again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Confiscate it, maybe flame her a little bit, crack some jokes, and then after that, be like, you ugly ass nigga. Now go. And yeah, but I don't know. They just have their own way of trying to build a case for a person that's not a criminal. Or build a... I believed in you and turn out that you're not shit. Moving on, that's easy to quit acting like I'm not rich. Fuck these IG hoes, I'd rather have a block, bitch. She been playing on my heartstrings like a 